Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Inscription. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Inscription. <laughs> so, uh, in the last episode, we learned a bunch of new things. We learned a lot of rules, and we played with some puzzles. Uh, but now I'm going to get back into the core of the game. We're going to get back into playing with some cards and uh, continuing on the creepy atmosphere. So let's 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 go ahead and play. Let's play. So, and we got some new cards. We learned a lot of new rules. We played with some puzzles. There's some new stuff going on. Um, I'm curious to see where it's going to go and where it's going to take us. So we're just going to go ahead and move forward. Um, it looks like that it's not a game. It looks like we're going to be getting either a new card or something. A rock may get you out of a hard place. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. Choose one. Oh, I'm gonna take the scissors and cut up your stuff. Feeling overburdened? Enough with a full three items you carried on. I love how, like, grimy and grungy this feels, you know, like... Like, you know, the pliers for ripping your teeth out and, and the scissors for, like, cr cutting up cards permanently. Like, it's, it's like, it feels like there's stakes to it, and I love that. I love that feeling. Alright, so now we're getting into, into a card game here. <laughs> you again? I'm friend for Well, I basically told them how to do it. No, you didn't. You didn't tell me shit. You gotta play in. We have another friend here. You've got to be, I wouldn't call him a friend, but I suppose we are in deep this time. Okay. Uh, worker ants. He costs bones. What was the stinky mechanic again? Oh, gee whiz, I actually forgot what the mechanic was. Uh, wait. Didn't my stoat have a power? How come he doesn't have a power anymore? Hmm. That's weird. Uh, well, you know what? I'm curious about the worker ant. So, well, actually, no. Its power is equal to the number of creatures you have on the board, right? I'm just going to go for the stoat. I'm going to go for the stoat. Okay. What's your problem? This is fine. Yeah, see? You're doing fine. Um... I'll take a regular card and can block flying, but I don't really need that. He need the stink bug needs two bones, right? So I'm just gonna let my yeah, there we go. Enough. Okay. Uh, we'll take a squirrel and hmm. See, I don't know. Uh, my stoat's probably going to die, which kind of sucks. Um, and then... Uh, I guess maybe the ant would be kind of cool? And then put the ant there. And then I'll put in the stink bug as well. Back in the cave! My poor stoat is probably going to be dead soon. Okay. There we go. Yeah, sorry, Stoat. Love you, buddy, but it's over. Um, I will take a regular card. Caged Wolf. Hmm. Um, it costs two blood. Oh, you know what? Give me that squirrel. I'm going to put the squirrel in here. And then I'm going to play the Caged Wolf. I'm going to sacrifice you and you. And I'm going to put the Caged Wolf right there. What's up? Let's go! Yeah! There we go. Okay. So the caged wolf is just like a wall, which is nice, because it'll deal with that, that alpha guy for a little bit. Um, my bullfrog is one power. I'm going to go for a regular card. Skink. Can create a copy of itself, and then it moves over to be able to attack again, right? So... Uh, oop. I forgot that I could do that. Um, you know what? 
Yeah! I think this will kill him. Yeah! I won the battle with that! That was so rad! I feel that that feels cool. <laughs> I mean, I did just rip out my teeth, but it feels really cool when it's like I it took me a minute to realize that I only needed one more damage to kill him. And I was like, "All right, time to take a tooth out." Ah, you're dead. <laughs> I love that. Oh god, this game is so fun. <laughs> oh, hey, it's me. Ooh, I look angry. Well, I'm gonna take me. I gotta have me in my own deck, obviously. I mean, it is, after all, my deck. Um, mm. Should I try and do a sacrifice or should I try and power somebody up? I got an idea. I'm gonna try and do a sacrifice and see if I get lucky with it. Okay. The choice is yours. Uh, so the one that I'm sacrificing is dead, but it carries its ability over to somebody else. So knowing that, I want to give a creature that I want to give the cockroach ability to another creature. So I'm going to put that in. I'm going to select this. And I'm going to give myself the, the regenerating ability. Hell yeah. Yes! Okay, hold on. Let me just make sure. Yeah, I'm going to give myself the, the regenerating ability. Yes! Yes! Now I can... I can. Uh, now my character can fly, and when it dies, it comes back to my hand and I can play it again. That's rad. Okay. So I feel like I did pretty good that time. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see here. Well... How many bones do I have? Do I? I don't have any bones. Okay. So, I guess we'll start with a squirrel right there. And then he's got a wolf cub out. So, I'm going to take my bullfrog, which has two toughness or power or whatever, two, two health. And I'm going to sacrifice a squirrel, put him over here so he can block the wolf cub, and then pass the turn. Ha ha! Take that! Okay, and I got one bone, and I guess I will, hmm, hmm, I'll take the squirrel, I'll put the squirrel down, and then I'm going to make the caged wolf, I'm going to kill the bullfrog and the squirrel, and then I'm going to put the caged wolf right here, and then I'm going to play the opossum in over here. So that way I have one thing on the board that can deal damage, and I also have the caged wolf to back me up through these other two. There we go, there we go. Okay, that's a little sketch, but that's fine. It's fine, we got this. Worker ant, hmm. Um, for right now, I will pass the turn. There we go. Uncage the menagerie is an achievement. Hey, I got a wolf! What was that? Well, it looks like I got a wolf. That's what I think that was. Um. Hmm. Okay, so he's got a wolf cub that's up to mess with me. So I'll take a card. There he is in all of his glory. He's too powerful for his own good. All right. Um. I could play him, but I don't think I want to right now. So I'm going to let this guy come on in for some damage. Yeah. Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Oh, so it's like trample. But it's just natural to the game. That's interesting. Uh, <clears throat> Lucky for you. Okay, so now we got a wolf that's hitting me for three, which is a bit sketchy. Um, let's go for... Uh, hmm. Okay, well, I'll play a squirrel. I'll put it right here. 
And then I'm gonna bring in Hobbs. Yeah, what's up? And then uh, we're gonna pass the turn. Okay. And then put in the squirrel, drop them down, put in the ant. There we go. Let's see how this goes down, shall we? Yeah, and then he's back in my hand again. I will take the squirrel. Oh, he concedes! I concede. You may accept my surrender, or you may finish this match the slow way. I feel like this is a trick, right? This has got to be- he's- this has got to be a trick, right? So, I'm gonna keep playing. What is that? Oh, is it supposed to be an olive branch? Um... I don't know if it's a trick or not. I'm gonna take the olive branch, I'm curious. If it is a trick, I wanna see what it is. So I just win. Alright! Okay, man! I, I, for a moment there I thought it was gonna be a trick, and I was actually really curious to see if he was gonna do something really sketchy. I didn't know you could concede in this game, though. Alright, well it's time for some new cards, let's get it, let's get it! The watchful bullfrog, it leaps in the way of attacking flyers. Okay. The Meddlesome Bat, a minor terror. Four bones. The Apothecized Goat, the truest offering. Sacrificing it grants three blood? Hell yeah, I'll take that. That sounds amazing. All right, so you know what? I'm actually gonna go for the campfire because I wanna beef up my card. I'm hoping they're gonna let me do that. A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There is room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its health, said another. Oh, it's it's health, not power. Well, I mean, you know, Hobbs can always use more health. I mean, you know. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. Okay. No way. What is the... Something... Okay, this doesn't feel right. Am I actually going to lose a card here? I mean, and he doesn't need more health. He needs more power. This doesn't rub me the right way. This feels wrong. I, because I'm never, like, I, I'm wonder like, it's specifically that the ones, the cards that can talk, like, for example, like, when I put the stoat up for, like, the original sacrificing thing, he said, like, oh, I'd be honored if you sacrificed that creature for me, you know, like, but, like, this last time was a benefit, but it seemed like it could be sketchy. And now it seems like as if it, this could actually be something that would be bad. So I think I'm not going to use a card that I'd be worried about losing. So if that's the case... <gasps> Excuse me. I'm thinking I'm going to pick the skink. of the skink has enhanced by the warmth. Oh, I guess it's not bad. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. Okay, it's just, I, I don't know. Like, it's it was telegraphing to me that there was something bad about to happen. So, I'm just gonna, from now on, tell myself that if, when it's one of those things, it's fine. All right. 
But I mean, the skink is not bad for having more health anyways, because it makes... It has that ability where it can, like, separate its tail, and then the tail can be blocked, and then it can go and block another creature. So, that's fine, I guess? It's fine. Uh, a coyote and an alpha. Okay. Well, I guess I will... Put in a squirrel. Yeah. And then I'll put in the bullfrog to toughness. Hmm. I'm gonna put it right there and then pass the turn. Right. Oh, he's beefy! Why did he get so beefy so fast? Wait a minute. What happened here? Okay. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Did I just lose? I lost. Wow! I lost in one attack. How disappointing. Okay. That sucks. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Come look at me, pelts. The trapper dealt in teeth, the type collected from battle. They are gained by dealing damage greater than what is needed to win a match. Take a pelt. Oh, take a pelt free of charge. See the quality? Uh, alright. You're leaving already? Please, consider me pelts. Well, I mean, I don't have any teeth to offer you. You'll need more teeth for that one. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave. Thanks for your business. The man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight, but he mentioned that the traitor further down the path would reward you for them. Okay. Should I try the sacrifice or should I try the power up? I would love to power up my Hobbs card. You know what? I got an idea actually. Let me try something. I'm gonna try the sacrifice. I got I got a plan here. I got an interesting crafty little plan going on here. So my crafty plan is to sacrifice the black goat to give to none of these. <laughs> Damn it. I was really hoping that I would have my black cat and I could like put the, the black goat ability on the black cat so that I could just sacrifice it over and over again for three blood. But, uh, it doesn't look like that's gonna be the way that I can do it, which really sucks. Um, all these are terrible choices. All right, hold on. Let's, what are my other choices here? The black goat is clearly the best. <laughs> this is actually really difficult. Um, I need something that's cheap, right? So, the rabbit pal. Hold on to that. Worker ant. The skink. Oh, that's right. He costs bones. Bones for blood. Could be good. Because 
it uses a different resource, so I don't have to spend blood to gain blood. So, and bones are easier to acquire than blood. So, I think I'm going to give the 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 triple sacrifice thing to the stink bug who ha already has a pretty decent ability, has one power, two toughness, and cost two bones. So I think this is going to be the right choice. Empower me! Okay, cool. All right, well, here we go. Ugh. Am I fighting the prospector again? The incessant clank, clank, clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. Twas the prospector, he how? So strange, why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. Okay. Uh, squirrel, wolf, skink. Okay, uh, let's go for a squirrel. Hold on. Uh, okay, yeah, so... Okay, so we'll go for the squirrel first. Put him here. And then we'll go for the skink. Kill the squirrel off. And we will put it right here. Yeah, that seems like a pretty good play right there. The dragging sounds are very uncomfortable. <laughs> Not a fan of that. Okay. Alright, so the pack mule is in play. Ah. It's... It's hard to call it cowardly. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. It's like having two creatures on the, on the battlefield for the price of one. Um, okay, so let's go. F oh, oh, I wonder if I could do this. Hold on. I got a really cool idea. So I put the squirrel here, right? And then I will uh, play the wolf by killing off the tail and the squirrel. That's so smart. I love that. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. The skink is a cool card, after all. It turns out it's actually genuinely a pretty cool card. So, um, I like that. Uh, I'm not gonna let the coyote in for two damage. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill it with the wolf. And then ring the bell. There we go. Interesting. Uh, two bones! Draw a card. You got it, I'm sorry, buddy. Prospector boss again. All right, stink bug. Uh, I guess I don't really need the stink bug at the moment. Uh, let's go ahead and pass the turn. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I will take... Oh, I have to... Stink bug. Right, so I should draw a regular card. The end queen, which cost two. So I'm gonna oh, but that won't work. That won't work. Um I'm trying to get creative here. So I'm gonna hold on to these cards. I'm gonna pass the turn. Might be a little risky, but... Oh, I won! Oh. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. All right, so he's got two life forces. That sucks. There's gold in damn cards. Oh, no. So he just gets to kill all of my stuff? G -g gold I've struck gold. That's so stupid. Uh... Hmm... Well, I have to take a squirrel. Can I... I'm gonna try something. Oh, yeah. There's nowhere for that card to be played. So, I'm just open? Is that literally it? 
You know what, if you're gonna play like a dirty jackass, I'm gonna play like a dirty jackass. Bloodhound. Oh, that's the one that can block anything, right? Because it takes the place of an unblocked... It, it takes the place of an unblocked um, card. So... I'm gonna let him attack into the into the things here and see what happens. Get him! Interesting. Okay, so now I'm gonna draw a card. I got a wolf, which is pretty decent. Um, I got a lot of bone tokens that I can't use, which really sucks. Okay, I'm gonna play a squirrel. And then I'm gonna play my stoat by killing the squirrel, putting him here. Total best play! Shut up, you don't know the way that I do things around here. Um. Hmm. It's really risky, but I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, get out of here. Okay. And, uh, I'm gonna pass the turn. Right, right, right. Stop that! Okay, um... My stoat is at one health. I'm gonna go for the squirrel. I'm gonna play the squirrel. And then... I'm going to... Okay. Three and an ant. So I guess what I'll do is I will play the wolf, I will kill the stoat and the squirrel. And I will put the wolf here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pass the turn. And then I get a whole bunch of new cards! Yeah, baby, yeah! Damn, damn it! Okay. Okay, so the Bloodhound came in for two. Uh, okay, so I got an Ant Queen, a Squirrel, a Sparrow, a Rat King. Interesting. Alpha's five bones. Okay, hold on a minute. Let me look over here. Well, the adder is only going to deal... is death touch, so... Two and two. Okay. I'm going to go for this alpha. Stop, Drucker! I'm sorry, I forget that I have to do that. I'm sorry. I already have a squirrel, so I'm gonna take a... Maybe I should take another squirrel. No, I'll take a regular card. Oh, I got two ants! Okay, that's cool. All right, well, I'm gonna go for the alpha, and I'm gonna put the alpha right here. And then I'm going to go for a... Let's see. The death touch creature will just automatically kill anything in front of it. But it's only one damage per turn. So... Hmm. I think I might just pass the turn. Yeah, I'm gonna just pass the turn. Yeah. Yes! Okay. Another bone. And I have two spaces open. So, squirrel to Rat King. And then. Right. So, that's double. Two power plus one. Ant Queen creates two, right? Did I draw a card already? Okay, so now I have two squirrels available to me, which means there's a few things I can do here. So I can either do a Rat King, which will give me four bones if it dies, and also Or 
I could try to get an ant queen in. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for a squirrel. And then I'm going to get another squirrel, put it in. And then I'm going to take the ant queen, sacrifice the squirrel and the squirrel, put the ant queen here, and then that puts an ant worker ant into my hand. Power in numbers, that's the ant's creed. Um, okay. And then... That's fine, actually. This is fine. I'm gonna pass the turn. This is okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. This is good. This is good. Okay. I think we got this one in the, in the bag this time, guys. I think we got it in the bag. So... I'm gonna take a squirrel. And I'm gonna put the squirrel in. And then... I'm actually going to put one of the worker ants in, even though I know it's probably going to die, but that's okay because it powers up the ant queen who's unblocked, right? So that's okay. Yeah, yeah! Oh, you're done. Get out of here. Get out of here, prospector. You are nasty. Nasty. You dead. Get out. Get out. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. Sweet. Miner's Bane, achievement unlocked. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Ooh. The prudent pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked rat. Uh, if I remember correctly, that gives me, like, a random card, right? The Eternal Serpent. Ooh, an Ouroboros! Death strengthens it forever. I might go for that, actually. That's cool. The Long Elk. I have no words for this freak of nature. They're both- all those cards are really cool. I kind of want to go for the Ouroboros. Two blood, one power, one toughness comes back to my hand. But then there's the Long Elk, too, which is really creepy, by the way. I kind of want that. Um, double blood. One of the things that I came across, though, was I was getting a lot of bones, and they didn't do anything. Because I didn't have a lot of bone creatures. So... I want the Ouroboros just because it's cool. Um, but I think I'm going to go for the Long Elk. Oof. What am I going to take? Uh, I'm going to go for the Long Elk because I get a lot of bones and I don't have anything to use the bones on. So having more cards that use that source of that resource are going to be better for me. With the sound of the Prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Hmm. Ooh, a new map. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. Okay. This was a longer episode, guys. Um, so we're going to end it here. Um, this was cool. This was fun. Uh, I, if I haven't already said it like a billion times, I love this game. This game is so beyond cool, and I'm absolutely having the greatest time ever playing it. So go check it out. Once again, it's Inscription. Um, go and check it out. It's totally worth it. It's a lot of fun. Very spooky. Very creative. The card game itself is really fun. And all the other horror aspects of it are really interesting and creepy, and I love it. Um, so other than that, I'm going to say all the normal things, which is, guys, go ahead and thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Go ahead and, um, you know, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Hit that notification bell if you haven't already. It really helps me out. Uh, check in the description below for all of my wonderful links, such as PayPal and Streamlabs. All donations are super duper greatly appreciated. And they really help the channel out, so thank you if you're going to go ahead and 
to do that. And a uh, wonderful shout out to my amazing Patreon members, which include Bo Falcon, Fajuk Enterprises, James P, Miss Rebecca, as well as Scorpa Guys. Thank you guys so much for supporting me on the regular. It really helps me out, and I genuinely appreciate you guys. So thank you so much. Um, other than that, I've been Mr. Habanero. Follow your dreams, everybody. I will see you all in the next episode of Inscription. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.